Hi guys and welcome back to the brand new video. I'm Zach. I'm Vibis. And today we're gonna take a look at the 2020 uh, presidential election. And we just have a few days and Biden will announce his running mate at the at August 1st. Uh, 1st. And we have a Yeah, couple so today we are making Biden um, uh, running mate Harris versus Trump running mate Pence. So this is the first episode. We have another episode that like um, Susan Rice or Elizabeth Warren. This will be episode and episode three so please wait yes first in this first episode we're gonna take a look at the Kamala Harris versus plane and we start uh, state by state at uh, Nevada yes Let's put it in a likely margin and as always this state is likely so i'm not going to talk about much more about state Nevada and also colorado will be also we are talking about likely states first yes and also there are some uh likely state for republican for president trump uh yeah. please, you may talk about which state is uh, likely for a republican well i think south carolina is a likely state um, Trump, um, Trump won't. I think he won't uh, get a a big margin like ten percent or over ten percent. I think in Trump will get a bigger margin than twenty sixteen. So I think likely South Carolina is a likely Republican. Yes, and and also um, I have my own opinion on. Uh, Mississippi is also a likely state, and yeah. a black, a black population is uh, has an impact on the election. If uh, Harris become the VP, has a bit help in the South. Yeah, um, and also, also Montana. That's Montana. It's, um, um, Montana. It it was pretty uh close in two thousand eight. So I think. Harris can help much in more uh, red states. Yes, and it's overperforming uh, Obama margin. I think will if Harris become the VP, and we talk about the next state, um, which is uh, lean and, and Arizona is not lean, but it will stay in the Democratic column by the two margin. Yeah, also it's pretty close, but I think we'll go to. Democrats. You, you can see many polls show that Arizona will go to Biden, so I think we'll go to Democrat. Yes, stay in the Democratic column. And in Texas, uh, Texas will still stay in the red column, but uh, till maybe 1.5%. Yeah, really close. Um, It's a history that Democrats take back the um, the state of Texas. It's um, help, help Democrats very much if um Biden win Texas in this election, uh if uh Democrats win Texas um in other election, it will help very much in in, in the presidential election. Yes, great explanation. And we're gonna take a look at the state of Iowa and the six electoral votes is not a huge prize, but Biden must have a chance to get it if it won the if we, we want to win the presidency. So I'll still put the state uh, in in the tilt column for President Trump. Yeah. Texas and Iowa is very close. And yeah. Minnesota, 10 electoral votes is also pretty close, uh, but you stay in uh, the Democratic column. Yeah. Mike Smith. And yeah. I, I want to uh, talk about Georgia. Okay. In Georgia. Georgia, I think, go to President Trump, but you know, much more close, close in twenty twenty. Yes, it's also tilt. I think it was tilt, yeah. And even uh has a much more uh big impact in the state of Georgia because uh, Biden you know, made black. Yes. You no, know, Atlanta has um uh, 
many black uh, supporters for Democrats. I think most most of black voters will vote for Democrats, and uh, Georgia have a big group of black. Voters, so I think it will be more close in the first one. Yes, and let's take a look at Florida. Um, I will still put this state uh for uh Harris right now, and Harris yeah. Biden, and in the uh, lean margin, uh this state yeah. has trends a lot, and it now become a lean state. Uh, uh it's the swing Florida state. Is a really better ground state in past of. Uh, 20 years to 30 years, so I think more close, like Hill. Yes. But now, um, is uh, much more democratic now. Um, we have uh, Virginia in the Midwest. We have this state for the Democrats, and also we have New Hampshire, the Northeast. So we now have Biden, Biden too. Uh, uh, or to win this day. Yes, and now you can see we have Biden and uh, Harris on two hundred and seventy mark. Uh, so where they win the presidency because the state of Florida and Arizona is very important for the both candidates, and Biden take them all. So um, Trump may also lead some states to win back to re-elect, but it's now yeah. it's not really likely for Trump to re-elect right now. Yeah. And Ohio. Ohio is and yeah, I think go to Harris, a bind. Yes. Um about two margins is greater. Yeah you know um in uh, about one hundred years. Uh, all presidents that win, that wins Ohio. That um, he win the presidency. So I think Ohio is a very important state to know. Uh, how know that you can win a presidency without Ohio? Yes, and also. And the three much more closer state we have Michigan at the likely column, and Pennsylvania in the lean column, and Wisconsin in the lean column, which takes them to three hundred and thirty four electoral votes to Trump one hundred and eighty five, and we only have yeah. uh, Maine and North Carolina left to be count, and also we have Nebraska second district, which is a bit to to the Democrat, which will give them. Yeah. Uh, uh, one more congressional congressional district victory in the state of Nebraska, and Maine. Yeah, uh, the I second district. Still a Trump state, but tilt will be. Yes. Um, will be great. And Maine all will be likely for Joe Biden in this scenario. And we have the last state. How you fought in the state in North Carolina? Well, North Carolina, um, you know, uh, Hillary, um, lo lo lost it by three percent. About yeah, right. Yeah, right. Well, I think Democrats can flip it. Yes, um, there's still a possibility that Trump may flip back the state. This this day, the poll has been. Leading Trump by about um, uh, three to four points, just like Trump won in twenty sixteen, and I believe well, I think this Harris will happen. Biden will win it uh, by a lean margin. Yes. Um, he choose Harris to for the running mate. And here's the map with three hundred fifty four, fifty three, fifty two electoral votes for Joe Biden and one hundred and eighty six for Donald Trump. Yeah, the complete disaster for the Trump campaign. You can see yeah. many states has turned blue, and some of the uh some, typical red state uh, has turned blue some too. Safe red state, uh, become more close. And Texas, the most big, um, red state, um, now is tilt. Uh, Trump, you have, you need to be careful. 
else yes. and we have uh, a big a big victory for Doban here but it's still pretty early uh, we have a uh, 100 days to go and anything could change in a moment maybe the trauma can recover his a loss and finally has trailing him maybe with this will happen but we don't know yet and we just need to wait for Bayern announce his running mate uh, next week in August 1st this week First and of August yes and we will uh, also take a look at Susan Rice uh, if uh, Bayern choose Susan Rice not Kamala Harris as the running mate and uh, may something will change and we'll see you in the next episode of this video Vice President choices. Yes. So, see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.